Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. How you doing guys? Hi, and it's that time again. Time for another episode of What Didn't Make the Shelf. This is episode number 46 and we watched, I watched 11 titles and here we go. We're going to start off with a Blu-ray from 2024, 101 minutes with the slip. Long legs. Long legs. Uh, we've been purging the collection so we don't have uh, a few of these titles. And they already sold. Yeah. Anyway, Long Legs with Nicolas Cage. That is a movie. Totally. It's angry. creepy. Nicolas Cage does his part and he plays it well. And all I gotta say is the movie is worth it for the interrogation room scene with the desk. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you haven't seen Long Legs, watch it. The yeah. Creepy doll movie and Nicolas Cage performs. Yeah, it's a good one time watch, but it's something that I would never watch again. Because it's about creepy dolls and being psychologically possessed and lots of things are inferred that these dolls can just um like not teleport but they can deliver their thoughts to another being so they behave a certain way yeah that's basically that's, what it is and that's all we'll say about it check out the movie yeah anyway what did i give it i don't know i gave it a deuce <laughs> i give it I give it a two. I give it a two as well. And my scale is a two out of five stars. Yeah. I thought everybody acted well. I thought the story was good. But again, it's nothing that really interested me that much when I watched Don't it. Don't run out to the store and buy it and try to find a copy. Yeah. Wait till... Um, you find it on a sale or, or find it used. Or one of us gives it, yeah. <laughs> you know, on a live stream or something. Yeah. Gives it to uh, a whatnot or something. But yeah. anyway... The next one is The Watchers. I don't have that one either. No, From 2024. On. And it is 102 minutes. This one was a little bit longer. This one is an M. Night, an M. Night Shyamalan film. Yeah, M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan film. Ding Dong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with, with Dakota Fanning. And she does a wonderful job playing her role. And there's a twist with her. You've got to see it. It's yep. good. I recommend watching this one, so I don't want to say too much about it, but it's like kind of aliens-ish, and it takes place in the woods. The whole thing yeah. takes place in the woods, and there's creatures. Yeah. Except and for the end where there might be a scene out of the woods. Yeah, but it's the typical M. Night Shyamalan film that there's a twist in the film. So, like I said, we're not going to say much about it because... Mm -hmm. We don't want to ruin the film. But I thought it was a really good film. I really enjoyed it. I liked it more than Long Legs. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> but, again, to me it was only a one-time watch. I agree, too, yeah. Uh, Long Legs was a one-time watch, too. Yeah. Um, I gave it a two and a half because I like the creepy alien and uh, the fairy and the, the clone-like stuff. Yeah, I liked let there me wasn't, say that. I don't I want to say why or what happens or where yeah. they are. I give it a three. I actually enjoyed mm -hmm. it, but again, I just won't rewatch it. So it had to go. You, you're not gonna rewatch the Watchers. No. Maybe the Watchers will watch. It. Maybe. See what I did? Anyway. Yeah, see what you did there. <laughs> Our next one. It's all the rave right now. It is Caddy Hack. We don't have that one either. That one's sold already. <laughs> From 2023, 75 minutes um, with the slip. It has yep. a slip. And the artwork is alternate. Um, basically, they're pesticide-infected killer gopher puppets that go on a killing rampage. I mean, the, these gopher puppets are literally low budge. So if you like Super cheese... Super low budge. So if you like cheese, super low budge movies, raunchy, laughing, uh, ridiculous blood, it's, fun. 
it's, shut off your brain just it's it's a wild eye film so right there that should tell you plenty <laughs> yeah but, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, it is super ridiculous, super low budge. Super fun, super entertaining. S stupid story. If you can get past some of the accents they have. Yeah, and the lady who giggle like. <laughs> put, oh my god. That giggles. Thanks a lot for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, the lady who giggles every time she talks, that really annoyed me. I me? couldn't wait. Yeah. Me? I couldn't me? wait for her to die. Oh my god. Yeah, she has a laugh. Oh my goodness, that laugh was so annoying. But yeah. if, if you want to watch it just to watch it for the cheesiness, why am I talking with man? But anyway, check it yes. out. Caddy what'd Hack. You, what'd you give it? I gave it a, well, 0 0.5. I give it a 1. Because it's the low budge. I and give it a 1. The artwork. Yeah, I give okay. it a 1. That's about it. Just because I, I laughed a couple of times when it's not supposed to be a laughable film. But I laughed a couple of times. So yeah, check it out. Yep. But out of Long Legs, The Watchers, and Caddy Hack, I would say The Watchers is at the top. Yeah. But anyway, moving right along this lovely list. I don't have the next one either. I'm just looking at my stack. We don't edit. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> the next one is from 2024. It is 98 minutes and it is... Damaged. Damaged. <laughs> On With Samuel L. Jackson. No slip. Nope. Um, and no, I had a slip. We didn't have the slip. Yeah, we did. Okay, we had the slip then. Anyway, Vincent Castle's in it, and evil is closer than you think. It's a killer manhunt with a good ending. Uh, it kept me watching, and there are some brutal, brutal scenes in this one. For me, I didn't like some of the brutal gory scenes mm -hmm. but yeah they uh, were damaged <laughs> yeah i didn't care for it that much i was kind of bored with it but it was all right yeah I, yeah it, it's not really a memorable movie but yeah i pretty much give it a 1.5 it's better than uh what do you call it candy hack true <laughs> but yeah damaged i gave it a two Worthy watched in interesting. I like Samuel J Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. And that's it for that one. Yeah. Let's try and make this gonna, short and sweet. We're trying to run through them. We so only we got... have run forest. Run. We only have like another week left of October, and I always watch Hocus Pocus every year for October. Yeah. Do you have pretty... a movie that you have to watch every spooky season? Yeah, pretty Comment. much the rest of oh, no. the rest of you the year up. when we're filming this, we're not going to be watching any duds. So. Yeah. All right. The next one is from 1987. You threw off the years. Yep. All right. From 1987, 90 minutes. Stage, Stage fright. fright. Very nice. <laughs> Basically, it's about young actors and actresses that work in. Uh, this theater, and they're locked inside with a killer. Yep. The end. That's it. That's, oh, there's a couple kills and some outfits and there's some singing. A, there's an, some singing and there's an awful owl. Yeah. And if anybody knows me, owls are not my animal of choice. Yeah. That movie, again, was a little bit slow, a little bit boring. I didn't really... If you don't like creepy... Dancing owls with large heads just pass pass all day on this one. Yeah, I, I just, gave it a one Yeah, I give it a one and a half. Mm -hmm. I It kind of bored me. Yeah, the director locks the cast inside with the madman inside mm -hmm. inside Yep, and you, They they die and sometimes you see their insides. Yep, <laughs> but yeah, that's it Next stage right this next one is, now every time I hear this title, I'm going to hear the lady laughing after I hear the word Z. <laughs> Thanks a lot. The lady laughing from Caddy. And we actually have it. Oh, Z, I Z, Z. That is what it sounds like on the, uh, what do you call it? The spell. The, the learning spell. Yeah. Kids toy. It's a speaking spell. Yeah. And the only letter that works is Z, Z. Z. <laughs> But, yeah, this was a worthy watch. Uh, this is from 2019, 83 minutes. Uh, it's a Raven Banner releasing. A boy is basically haunted by his mother's childhood 
um, figure or what do you call it? Imaginary Shadow, friend. nightmare, imaginary friend. Oh, it says it right there, imaginary friend Z. Read yeah. your notes, Marie. But anyway, and then I just didn't like the ending. It, it didn't deserve that type of ending. I don't want to say what kind of an ending it was. But I, I didn't like the ending. But it kept me watching, and the phrase Z, Z is catchy. <laughs> so yeah. watch the movie, and you won't get the word Z out of your head. And you'd be like, damn it, Marie! Why'd you tell me to watch that movie? But anyway. What'd you give it? Speak and Spell, it's called, I think. Yeah. Uh, I gave it a 1.5 because of the ending. The ending just. I, it down that was a movie me. I did not watch. I had stuff going on, so I never even watched the film. I didn't care to watch he it. He just peeked in I when peeked he in. heard um, the spell, yeah. the speaking spell. And I just didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not sitting down for this. And it says the letter so many more times in the movie, and I would hear him in the background saying, Z, <laughs> Z, because it's catchy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the movie Z from Raven Banner, fun, creepy, interesting. Don't rush out and buy it, in yeah. my opinion, but... Everybody can have their own opinions for movies, but you're here for mine, and thank you so much. And his, but yeah. anyway, number seven on Blu-ray with the slip, some snazzy artwork for you. Possession from 1981, and this is 124 minutes, like a little over a hair over two hours long. Yeah. And holy cow, this is a movie. This is the this is a mind of a movie. It is. It's very psychological, artsy, relationship, kills, acting crazy. Mm -hmm. But the scene in the tunnel with the milk yeah. just, just made the movie. It, it explains everything, basically. It reminded me of okay. like an Italian giallo film. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It had that feel to it. Uh, Umbrella put this out. It does have different artwork. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, but it's it, basically about being inhumane and ecstasy and just fulfilling it, whether mm -hmm. it be violently, oddly, etc. Yeah. It's pretty, and, it's pretty much about a, a husband and wife and their son. It's With a crazy it. relationship. Yep. And drama and the craziness ensues. Yeah. Without going into detail. This is a, a film. The woman is crazy. Did the, I mention that? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. That's all we'll say. It's interesting. Yep. That's all we'll say. Don't spoil it. Yeah. Okay. What'd you give it? I gave it a 1.5 because of the artwork and the tunnel scene. I give it a 3. Because I thought it was well acted. I liked a lot of the cinem cinematography in this film. But, again... One time watch. One time watch. Not I, like I, the, I like the drama between um, the wife, the girlfriend, and the male character. Yeah. It's a film that for mm -hmm. decades I've wanted to watch. And every, every uh, release has always been so expensive. And I finally got it and I was like... Why did I even watch it? I should. It's eluded me this long. I should have just. You should have just kept walking. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, I, at least I got to check it out. Next yeah. one. What'd you give it? Like a one point five. Seven. I gave it a three. Ooh, woof. We gave it a one point five. Yeah, more weird psychological. But anyway, mm -hmm. the next one is from two thousand nineteen. Eighty seven minutes, and we have it on DVD. The Jack in the Box. Yeah. Jack in the box. We'll do show them the back artwork. Eesh. But anyway, creepy story about a jack in the box that needs like six souls in order to satisfy a demon's curse. And somebody digs up the vintage jack in the box and plays with the buttons or something, and the box opens and he comes for you. Yep. Jack comes for you. And it's a creepy clown, and I do not like creepy clowns or clowns. Yeah. But some clowns are okay. This movie kept me interested. I was interested watching it. I thought it was a good premise. 
But again, to me, it was a one-time one. The entertainment is not there. It's a little slow. Um, you have to think a little bit about the psychological uh, thought of the clown and how it is possessed. So if you don't like object possession films that are low budge. This isn't for you. It's not for you. And if you don't like clowns, this isn't for you. The only clown that I like is, um, what do you call it? Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. Out outer Space. I can't talk tonight. No. It's okay. But anyway. What'd you give it? Creepy Clown. Once you open the box, you can't escape it. Let's see. Uh, oh, I just saw that they actually made three of these films. 2022, The Jack in the Box Awaking. And 2024, it just came out, The Jack in the Box Rises. I am so sorry. I'm just going to pass right over that one. But yeah. if you enjoyed that creepy Jack in the Box, you'll probably want to check out those. Yep. I gave this movie a one. Because I like um, curses and possessed items, just not clowns. I give it a two just because it kept me pretty much guessing not guessing, but it kept me interested that I really wanted to find out how this film was going to end but mm -hmm. and what was going on. But, again... You wanted to see if all the deaths were fulfilled. The end was interesting. I yeah. like how they left it. Yeah, they left it open for mm -hmm. a sequel. All right, number nine. 2023, 77 minutes. Artwork is amazing, but it lies. Alice in Terrorland. I really like that artwork. Oh, God. A lady smiling and laughing. Caddy hack all over again. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, all you see is her and her smile, most of, basically most of the movie. And it's quiet and it's slow. and It's really slow. You don't see Alice in Wonderland and there's no rabbit really. Like fluffy it's, bunny hopping around. It's super dialogue heavy and not yeah. much else. There's not a lot of action. There, but that artwork is amazing. Yeah. Is that why? No. <laughs> it's good it artwork. Been. It's good artwork. I like my fairy tales. And that artwork hooked me. So I thought it would be good. I thought it would be good. But I was fooled. So fooled. Psychologically fooled. But anyway. What would you give this? Twisted, truly grim fairy tale. No. I think it was just a slow quiet odd hard to understand so tale not a fairy tale just a no. tale but she she did kind of look like alice so I'll, I'll give it that i gave it a one i give it a half a star Ooh, that's how bad it was that high huh yeah <laughs> just because halfway through it well i'm afraid so after 15 minutes i completely checked out I'm like, I am so done with this film. If Marie wasn't watching with me, I would have shut that thing off. <laughs> it was so bad. He said that, yeah. All right, these last two I actually watched today. Yep, and we both did. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. This one is from 2018. It is 93 minutes, and it is The Escape Plan 2 with Salone and Bautista. Yep. Bautista, Bautista? Bautista from WWE. But this was basically about a program that works on a computer and it doesn't work in the setting when the scenario is carried out. Yeah, in this futuristic style prison where a warden yeah. is taking the prisoners and fighting them and... Yeah, people fight. Yeah, it was just... A lot of fighting scenes. The, the first uh, escape plan with... Sly and Arnold, I really enjoyed. I thought that one was really good. I love the story. I love the premise. But the second one didn't live up to it at all. And I'm shocked Sylvester Stallone and 50 Cent actually even came back to do a second one. I didn't see the first one. Mm -hmm. Which I probably have to. I yeah. need to. But anyway, um, it was very boring for me. It was hard to follow. Like, very hard to follow. Yeah. But there is one scene where um, someone or some people get electrocuted yep. for like a few seconds. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That was the only thing I liked about the movie. Yeah, the movie was not good. Woof. Yeah. 
story was very muddled. I just, I didn't care This for is it. one of the movies where I need to use the bathroom. Don't pause it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pause it. I'll be back in the minutes. Yeah. I say that to Marie a lot when we're watching movies. I'm like, Marie, I got to go use the bathroom. Don't, don't pause, pause it. it. <laughs> don't, don't, pa just let it play. I don't care that much. No. I don't care what's going on. But since I watched that one, oh, I gave well, it a one. I give it a one as well. Since I watched that one, I had to watch this one. Escape Plan 3, Extractors. Wait, Escape Plan 2 was Hades, but this yeah. is Extractors with the slip. Mm -hmm. Batista and Salona are back with Curtis Jackson and 50 Cent. and Fifty Cent. Well, Curtis Jackson is Fifty Cent. Okay, yeah. Rap about it, why don't you? But anyway, this was pretty good. I like this one better than the Hades. second. Oh, woof. Um, let's see. Basically, Stallone and this group of people are battling and. Knives and weapons are just going going everywhere. And guns. Yep. People die. People get smashed. Like, people take a beating. Yeah. If you, if you want to see people get hurt badly, watch this movie. Yeah, the third, the third one is pretty much Devin Sawa from uh, mm -hmm. SLC Punk and uh, Final Destination. He's the bad guy. And he's pretty much avenging... His father from the first film. So he wants to go after Stallone for what he did to his dad in the first film. Uh, it would make more sense if I seen the first film. Yeah. But thanks. But Oopsie. that's pretty much what the premise is about. And some of it happens. Sawa is pretty much um, inside of a inside of a inside of a prison Twister. that he's using as like his hideout. So that's pretty much the premise of it yeah about like a uh, little more than halfway through the movie we were saying oh that's gonna hurt like oh he's gonna feel that yeah brutal I'm like oh my god ouch yeah like, it looks good uh fun ending and maybe they'll make a fourth one yeah i hope not i don't know do you have any ideas no i hope not <laughs> if you've seen it you know what i did there yeah but anyway I gave it a 1.5 because it had better kills. I just gave it a 0.5 more than the other movie. I give it a 1. A 1. To me, the second and the third were just as bad. They both had good parts. They both had bad parts. But to mm -hmm. me, none was greater than the other. And that's pretty much it for October of what didn't make the shelf. Yeah. And a boatload of other stuff just came off the shelf, too. Yeah. So, this is all we have left. This, these are ones that we haven't sold yet on one of our WhatNot streams. But, they're coming to a WhatNot stream near you. If you don't follow me on WhatNot, I'll leave um, my info in the description to follow me on WhatNot. Check out when I have streams on there where I sell stuff that didn't make the shelf or stuff that I've upgraded or stuff that's just coming out of the collection to make room. Yeah. Uh, if I've you, rambled on long enough. Yeah. If you like this video, <laughs> hit the like button. Thank if you. If you didn't like it, videos before and after. If um, you made it this far, thank yeah. you, and I'm sorry. If you want to subscribe to us, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. We'll have more videos for you. If you want to leave a comment down below about any of these movies or any of the ones that popped up on the screen, start typing away. But until next time, guys. Whoa. Bye. Break a slip. I know.